All right, welcome to this more or less request-based uh, tutorial on LibGDX. It's not really request-based, but you see this question here. Would you recommend using the Java Tween engine to transition between game states as well? And actually, no, because the Tween engine is great. I'm a huge fan of it. I mean, I'm really, really, really fan of it. But there is an easier way because if we wanted to use the tween engine to make like a fade in and out transition for the stage, we would have to i mean we'd have to write a new assessor and have a look stage dot there is no uh set color there is no get color, so we would have to do stage dot get sprite batch and then set color and then we would have to write a sprite batch assessor and I don't know what, what kind of things we would have to do. But there is an easier way and for that we're going to use the... Uh, you go to the documentation of libgdx and then you go all packages um, gdx scenes scene to the actions and here we see there is this actions class and this is pretty much what I had open all the time but anyway uh <laughs> you see all these methods here um, and I think it's easier to just explain you in code but this is something similar to the tween engine but especially made for scene to d by libgdx uh, already so it's kind of uh, useful um, to do that, we want to put in a. Um, we want to uh, have a nice um, fade out transition and fade in transition from the main menu to the level menu. So when we click the play button, we until now we just uh, switch the level menu. Hard no transition. Doesn't look so nice. So let's do that. Um, at first, we take out this line here because we're going to use it later. Uh, and now, if we click, we can add these actions to the stage. So stage dot add action, which is already there, uh, and then we can go actions dot. And uh, I already imported it, I think. But uh, you can just see all these kind of things here. I think the the names are pretty self-explanatory. But there is this one action that's called fade out. So we could do like how long is it going to be? Actually, just one second. Uh, and now uh, we're still not done. Now it just fades out. Let's uh, just have a look at that so you can imagine it better. So there we are, the splash screen, blah blah blah, our twin engine. And now it just fades out. So that's already pretty simple, huh? Uh, no assessor, no long tween or timeline or whatever. That's already pretty simple. Um, but we want that after that we actually change to the level menu. So we do a sequence. Action start sequence. And then we co can put in as many uh, other actions as we want. So there's also this action dot run which just runs whatever runnable we put in here. So let's create a new runnable. And inside the run we just switch to the level menu. So I think that is all we need. That's already all we need. That's pretty yeah, pretty cool. So tween engine fade in, fade out. And now the actions fade in. Uh, out. There we are. Of course doesn't look so cool um if we don't have a fade in in the level menu, so let's just create that real quick. Uh, we don't need anything special here. We just go stage dot add action uh, actions dot fade in uh, for like one second as well. But fade in actually here we can see it. Uh, the alpha at the time this action starts to an alpha of 1. So the time this action starts it already has uh, an alpha of 1. So we need to do something that's similar to tween.set 
but this time it is uh, stage dot at action actions dot alpha, which is pretty much just setting the alpha to zero. Um, we could also do it in a nicer way. Let's take this out and let's do another sequence here. Actions dot sequence and then we put this in comma then the oops this and don't forget the parentheses so now we have this action uh, which is a sequence and all this inside here is in the sequence at first we set the alpha to zero and then we fade in for one second so let's see how this is going to look tween engine let's see to the actions looks kinda nice. Um, I prefer the tween engine for all this other stuff where the animation is not um, yeah, planned or something. We can actually do everything we did with these kinda uh, actions but the tween engine, I just love the tween engine and you can use it for anything in any other project as well. That's why I use the tween engine. It's just useful to know uh, how to use it. So yeah. Um, should we do another transition here as well? Let's actually do another transition, right? Because just for one transition that's kind of boring. So we always got this uh, fade in, fade out and I think you'll get bored of that after some time. Let's do something like on the on the phones where one screen uh, goes out to the left and the other screen comes in from the right. I didn't try it out yet but I think it's going to work out. So we still want to set the screen, but instead of fading out, we want, uh, what do we want? Move, I think there's something like move, yeah. Move by, which uh, moves relative to the actual transition. So we want to move it by GD, um, yeah. Actually we want to move it by gdx.graphics.austin. Let's use stage dot get width. Uh, we want to move it by its whole width, so it's completely out of the window, and actually negative, so it goes to the left. Um, amount y is zero. We want to keep it just in the height it is. So let's just see how that looks. Of course, the fade in transition for the level menu is still there, but okay, what the hell was that? Okay, that's not cool. Um, oh yeah, moves the actor instantly. They said it moves the actor instantly. So action start. Move to. Does that move the actor instantly? Yes. Here, yeah, that's better. Uh, minus stage dot get width zero and duration one second again. So. I hope this is going to look good now. Play. And what's that? Pretty cool, isn't it? Actually, the fade in doesn't really... isn't a problem here as well. At first, let's uh, make just half a second transition. And now let's go to the level menu and change this uh, action we have here. So we don't need to set the alpha because we are not going to change the alpha but we need to set the position so move to or move by let's just move to because we can so we're going to move it to actually stage dot we want to move it I mean the stage is as big as the um, yeah the graphics so it doesn't matter uh, if we say gdx.graphics.get height or stage dot get uh, with yeah you know what I mean but just because it's shorter, I'm going to use stage.getWidth. So we're moving it completely out of the um, screen. Zero here. So now it should be instantly. And then we are, do we are moving it back. Move to, just because we can use move to, zero here, zero here, which is the position it just was in before. And this uh, is, oops.
yeah like that and this is supposed to take half a second as well so cool now let's see it jup, jup. now that's pretty cool isn't it that's really pretty cool so I think we can just let it like this I'll commit and push this up to the um, Bitbucket repository and yeah so let's do some kind of conclusion um, well my conclusion is that the tween engine is still way more flexible and I still love it you can animate anything with it you can even animate stuff that you don't even see on the screen but for these things like transitions between screens and everything that these actions here have already built in uh, I think they are pretty pretty useful because I mean they have it built in already so it's actually up to you to choose in which case it is simpler to use what so thanks for watching and yeah I'll try to put up the next episode as soon as possible